Hi everyone, welcome to practice problem PP&E 01. This one's called Characteristics of Fixed Assets and Depreciation. So it's just going to be some quick questions, multiple choice, testing your knowledge of PP&E, fixed assets, as well as, relatedly, the depreciation on those assets. Let's take a look. All right, first up, Characteristics of Fixed Assets. Which of the following? are characteristics of fixed assets. I give you A, B, C, and D. Remember when I do multiple choice, could be one, could be none, could be more than one. Use your knowledge and see if you can determine which of these are characteristics of fixed assets. When you're done, unpause the video, come back, and I'll walk you through the solution. All right, welcome back. So here we go. Uh, which of the following? I'm going to go through these in order and just discuss each one, and we'll circle the ones that are right along the way. Um, starting with A. Uh, Fixed assets are held for sale to customers in the normal course of business. That is not the description of a fixed asset. That is actually the description of inventory. Inventory is what you hold for sale to customers in the normal course of business. Your assets is what you use to run your business, and you don't intend to sell those um, to your customers. All right. B, they have physical substance. Yes, this is a characteristic of a fixed asset. In fact, fixed assets are typically very large, very expensive, very long-lived, tangible, touchable objects, right? So they do have physical substance. How about C? They provide current and or future value to a company. Yes, they do. That is the very definition of just an asset, right? All assets have to hit that criteria, including fixed assets. And then D, they are expensed on the date of purchase, that is absolutely not true because they are expensed over time through the process of depreciation. All right, so that was that one. Let's go to the next. Understanding depreciation. Once again, for multiple choice, which of the following are true statements about depreciation? Take a moment, pause the video, try it out. When you're ready, come on back. I'll walk you through these as well. All right, welcome back. So here we go. I'm going to do the same thing, go just top to bottom here and talk about it. Depreciation. A, it is the process of recording expenditures to an asset at the time of cash outlay. That is actually the opposite of what depreciation does. The whole point of depreciation is that when you make the cash outlay, you capitalize the asset, you record it as an asset on your balance sheet, then as the asset is used and time passes, you expense it. So you are not recording expenditures during cash outlay. So A is not true. B, only the straight line method is permitted under US GAAP. That is also not true because under US GAAP, you do have alternate methods you can use, various accelerated methods um, beyond just the straight line method. All right, C, it applies to all property, plant, and equipment. This is the trick answer right here because it is also not true true, even though it appears it should be. Depreciation does apply to almost all property, plant, and equipment, but it does not apply to land. And land is part of your property, plant, and equipment. Therefore, this cannot be a correct answer. All right, finally, D. It is used to ensure expenses align with the revenues those expenses generate. That is our one and only correct answer out of these options. Basically, over time, you're going to use your fixed assets to generate the revenue of your company, whatever that revenue comes from. And over that same time, you will expense the use of the asset. Therefore, the expenses will get aligned with the revenues being generated. All right, so that's it for Practice Problem PP&E01. I hope you found it helpful. Thanks for watching, and join me for another video.